everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm finally starting the carpentry phase of this project, which I've been looking forward to for a while. This post here on the corner represents what's approximately the height of the structure. Uh, this is the, the front door. There's going to be a 2x10 at the top, and that'll cut right around there. That'll give enough room for an ample doorway here. Uh, I'm just about to put up the post on the other side, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that, so we're going to float over in that direction. Just kind of scamper up this wall. The wall actually serves as stairs as well, the way it's laid out. All right, so this is the post that's going to be going off uh, on this corner over here. I set it up into position temporarily, uh, but just to jump back for a moment. This one over here I got nice and plumb. You can see the, uh, the brace boards that are on there holding it nice and uh, plumb. I used a level to make sure it was straight up and down, hammered in the braces. And then I put this one up and I used a string and ran a string from the uh, top of that one over to uh, the side of this thing and made a mark. Uh, it's a, uh, one of those lines, a chalk line, where you snap it. Made a little mark, uh, brought this thing down, transferred the mark onto the sides, and then I used the circular handsaw to go through. It's five inches thick and I can't do that uh, with one plunge with the, uh, the circular handsaw. So I had to do like the top side and then the other two sides and now I'm finishing up uh, with this uh, non-mechanical uh, or non-electric handsaw. And uh, I found that going through this wet wood, I mentioned uh, in the last video, it, it, it's kind of difficult uh, to cut through it. I found it was easier to set the saw at kind of a lower uh, depth and just kind of go over the surface and then set it a little deeper and then do another pass and set it a little deeper and do that, do that several times. That made it a lot easier to get through here. So I'm just going to finish it up on here. Just trying to let the saw kind of float through the crack that I already made because I know that that is nice and straight. There we go. I think we're through. Are we through? Yeah, we're through. Okay. Here we go. So here's the uh, scrap. And there's the, uh, the top of it right there. And this one yeah, goes up here. All right, so at this point, the top surface of this post right here is this exact same elevation, exact, you know, as close as I could get it, to right over there because I, like I, mentioned, I strung the line across, I put a little, ball, uh, put a little uh, bubble level on the line and made my, my mark on, on this thing. Actually, this thing rotates that way, is the way that it went in. So uh, now I'm just going to reset the braces, and this thing should be... Uh, Pretty decent. It's a little dangerous because these are really heavy. We're risking the chickens' lives down there. Bubble levels over on the other side, and I got bugs in my throat. Um, I'll try. I'll try to do one of these before the camera runs out. All right. So bubble level, hammer, and the braces are all still in place on account of the fact that uh, I had them up earlier. All right. I've got a little uh, pad on the back side. This up against. All right, now bring this brace up. And actually, I think I can just stick it right back into the same nail hole. I don't have to use the bubble level again. There we go. All right, well, just to simulate what it would have been like, is I would have put the bubble level on the side and made sure it was straight up and down while I hold this. And once everything's uh, looking perfect then, that's when I would set that thing in. But uh, like I said, I had already had this in position, so it already had a nail hole, and I never dis uh, detached it here. So uh, I just got to do the horizontal across the front to hold it this way. Uh, and then at that point, what I'm going to be doing is setting the three posts in the middle uh, in there. And then again, I'm going to strike the line from the top of this to the top of that one, right across the tops of all the others, and then that's going to make them all perfect. Now, why don't I just all cut, uh, why don't I cut them all to exactly the same length? Well, as you recall, when I was working on the foundation, I don't know 100% that it's, you know, perfect. You know, if it could be a little higher on one side, a little higher on another side, it could have a little bump. You know, I was aiming for perfect, but every single chance you get to kind of recorrect and re-level things, it's always a good idea to do so. Otherwise, you're kind of accumulating errors as you go up. So this is my chance to make the tops of these as perfect as I possibly can in terms of level. Again, that's it. Thanks for watching.